Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. Well, today's zoo friend is one interesting character. Yes, joining us today for Critters Uncaged, it's Scoville Zoo Director Ken Fry and Chester. Welcome. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I'm tell Ken. Yes, Ken, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, this is Chester. Ken, tell us about Chester. Yeah, it's a Kenyan sand boa, and so it's kind of what it sounds like. They live in the sand, and they'll burrow under the sand and just kind of leave the top of their head uh, sticking out of the sand and just kind of wait for something to come by and then they'll kind of pounce on it and and uh, little insects and small mammals and uh, even little birds they can take wow. but uh, but it's got to be something like his head's maybe maybe a, almost a half inch wide maybe three eighths of an inch wide and so something that's um, three times as big as that so maybe an inch wide he can actually eat and so they can really eat something a lot bigger than their head actually is but he's kind of just waiting on top just underneath the sand and that's where they kind of burrow down to stay cool um, and kind of help control their body temperature and, and then also to pounce when they're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Pounce. yeah. So how big does a Kenyan sand boa get? Yeah and when you think boas and yes. boa constrictors yeah. you're thinking those big uh, like rosy tail boas and you know, six feet eight feet long and, and this is not too much bigger so it might get a li little bigger they keep on growing through their life but it's not going to get a whole lot bigger than this and uh, so it's one of the smallest boa constrictors uh, out there, so which is uh, and it's adorable. It kind of has that Jersey cow pattern. I know. That's what yeah. I say. Yeah. yeah. Now his tongue is just a going to town yeah. there. Yeah. So he's just kind of like feeling things out here. Yeah, it's kind of tasting. They they have the sensory um, olfactory areas in in top of their mouth, and so the tongue comes out and then sticks it up in those two holes on top of his mouth, and just kind of back and forth, and tasting the air, seeing what's out there, seeing if you have any good rodents or uh, <laughs> bugs in the studio, and. So yeah. Does it live up to its name of like, like does it constrict the yeah, things that it, it eats? Yeah, the things that it eats, yeah, it'll kind of wrap around. And, but they're and little things. Yeah, little things, and so it's a little wrap. It's a, a little, little wrap. It's a mini wrap. <laughs> a, a, a mini wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I gotta goodness. say, usually I'm really squirmy around snakes, but Chester's small enough and yeah. kind of cute enough in a way that I'm not squirmy. Look at I you. I progress uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we have you to thank I for know. that. Yes, when I first started guys. at the zoo, I was really not fond of snakes. Uh, to be honest and when they first started passing the snakes around the table when I was in volunteer class I, I would maybe touch it and yeah, uh, it just no give me thanks. the willies and and uh, but then I, I, you kind of learned to appreciate it. there's and I will say there's still a few snakes at the zoo I won't pick up mm. they still kind of give me the willies but there's some like Chester here that and other some of the other corn snakes that I'm really friendly that um, are pretty easy yeah, to handle yeah. and, okay we're gonna yeah. try a little experiment yeah and so it's a sand bow and it, it'll dig and burrow in to uh, a substrate and he's not going to want to do it now but if he wanted to and felt if he felt threatened or felt hot he would just burrow right immediately right into this <laughs> little the dirt, dirt area like into a little yeah. coil in there yeah and, and just kind of burrows down into it but you can see he's okay. very comfortable yeah, he in the studio right ease. now yeah wow That's okay well yeah. while we let him decide yeah. if he's going to burrow or oh, oh. Matthew here on <laughs> okay i got the heebie-jeebies now <laughs> Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. Are they fast? Because like, how quickly do we need to move? Yeah, and, like and pounce ourselves. Oh, like a four feet. You can jump four feet what? straight up. No, no, I'm kidding. It's okay. Like, yeah. so like I'll, I'll, clinging to okay. my chair. <laughs> I'll hold on what? to this. See if he, oh, there's the burrow. He's starting oh, to burrow. He's like, he okay. Yeah. Grace yelled too loud. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go. Down he goes. Okay, <laughs> while he's burrowing, let's talk all of the things happening at the zoo right now because you're about to start fall hours or you have started. Yeah, we fall have hours. started fall hours, so, which is just one hour shorter during the week. And, uh, and so oh. we'll. Um, 9 30 to 5 during the week with the last admission at 4 o'clock and then the weekends is the same it was just 9 30 to 6 with the last admission at 5. so just a little shorter during the week and it's because kids are our working kids are going back to high school yes, going back to college yes. and so we just have a limited number of staff to to cover all the hours with so right. and by shortening it in an hour it really helps us and out twilight yeah. tuesday the last one yeah last one at the end of august i believe it's august 30th mm -hmm. and it's gonna be be, be open till eight o'clock with the last admission at seven o'clock and we're gonna have a s'mores theme Yay. that night so bring well we'll have the wiener forks but just bring an appetite uh -huh. and you can make your own s'more and uh, i mean it's regular mission at the zoo but you can free s'more what's nice. better than that yeah. not much yeah okay and really quickly your biggest fundraiser is happening on the 10th september 10th flights of fancy and a grandparents day on september 11th You've got a lot going on there at the zoo. We do. It's a big fundraiser, and we're looking forward to people helping us out, raise money for the 
future exhibits. There you yeah. go. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, we can bring in some friends for Chester. Yeah, <laughs> Chester friends. Absolutely. Yeah. All sorts of fun stuff happening. There's a look at their Facebook page. I'm sure you can find all the dates to know.